Today is really my first step towards the Indy 500 or potentially racing in ovals on ovals. Um, I, I feel like, you know, I need to work through things that make me comfortable with the car on track, and this is one. Um, more test sessions on track, I think, are, are needed before I can make a decision. Certainly more conversations with my family, uh, with Chip, with our sponsors. You know, there are a lot of moving pieces to this, but I, I'm just very thankful that the team was able to identify a date and say, hey, let's, let's just go get your lap, see what you think. And then we'll, we'll know from here, um, once I have a day or two to digest it, you know, what that next step might be and do we look to, to go on to another oval and, and try to get more experience working towards a race someday down the road. I need to pretend as if I've never been here before and then after you know, a lot of laps, maybe pull a few small things from my NASCAR days to, to apply to the IndyCar. And um, ironically, the, uh, the way you use the banking to help support the race car is much more critical in an IndyCar than it is a cup car. And the line is a bit more forgiving in the cup car as a result. There was a point in time where the speeds were so high that drivers couldn't stay conscious driving around this track. So uh, it has had me alarmed. And to know that I could come here and test and to experience it as a driver was important for me. You know, let's, let's go to the tough one. It's one thing by myself, and I feel like I can control my environment. And I'm very thankful that I'm, I'm able to go out here and do it and, uh, and see. But the way IndyCar has advanced their safety and certainly what the tracks have done to increase the safety, um, you know, my concerns are much less, and that, that's why we're here today. You know, now that my concerns are at a certain point, now it's time to get in the car and, and see what my point of view is from there. If I said to you, um, it would be like a person that plays cricket in, you know, plays for the, in the English team or whatever. It's got a bat, it's got a ball. Then going and playing baseball, it's got a bat, it's got a ball. Everything else is different. And that's, uh, I think that's what the difference between a stock car and, uh, and an indie car. Everything you learn on the way up and everything you learn of when you're at the top in either of those fields doesn't prepare you in any way to do the other. In fact, it hurts you. So uh, it's, a, it's a challenging thing that Jimmy's doing, as I say, but he's, he's done very well so far. 